Bulkhead was playable for once, but Airdrie were clearly taking no chances with fancy football. Route 1 bringing about an early chance. Joe McLaughlin in his 600th game conceding a penalty with this challenge on Stuart Taylor. Referee Jim McCluskey in no doubt. It does look a soft award when seen again. Taylor himself took the kick, but he can only blame himself for the outcome. Standing goalkeeper Steve Morrison keeping his goal intact, and he had more to do shortly afterwards, as Austin McCann's cross comes in, and he punches clear from Taylor. Bankies might have taken the lead before the break. Scott Miller set free in the right. He cuts inside the defender, but when his pass reaches David Nichols, the midfielder shoots wide to the disgust of Miller. Clyde Bank were awarded a penalty in the second half, the ball bouncing around in the penalty area from the long throw, before Stephen Doherty is bundled by Marvin Wilson. Again, it looks a soft award with the minimum of contact. But Scott Murdoch, embarrassed enough, even things up in the penalty stakes. The game was won from a mistake in the Clyde Bank defence. Fraser Wishart and Innes Ripsey combining to lay the ball into the path of Alan Moore. He says thanks very much and slams the ball past Morrison. Moore has been freed by Airdrie and he's hoping other clubs will take note of that goal. But a late blow for the Bankies and the problem. Oh, we played well and, you know, really gutted. Not even, even, a, even a draw would have been a, a great achievement for us. But we felt we should have won the game. Since he's taken over, uh, the manager's installed us to play good football. We're trying to do that. Unfortunately, as I said earlier, the park's not conducive to that. No. So it was just a battle. We, we defended really well today and we ground out a result and we're just delighted it's three points. So, so, so to the end of the season.